लेसन नंबर वन द अर्थ एंड द ग्रैटिक्यूल स्टूडेंट्स हिर्ज अ वर्ल्ड मैप इन दिस मैप वी कैन सी सेवन कॉन्टिनेंट्स वी कैन सी द मोस्ट पॉपुलर मॉन्यूमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज द आगरा हियर दिस मॉन्यूमेंट इज लोकेटेड इन आगरा आगरा इज लोकेटेड इन इंडिया एंड इंडिया इज लोकेटेड इन एशिया वी कैन सी ओवर हियर देर आर सेवन चिल्ड्रन ग्राहम कटया मिचिको नतालिया मीनाक्षी साहिद एंड एनरिक If the question is asked to these children, in which direction is the Taj Mahal to them, the answers are going to be different. Each one of them, they are going to give answer differently by using some directions and sub directions. The Taj Mahal is located at one and the same place, and that is Agra. However, when each one of the children told the direction from their respective places. their answers were different this means that the use of directions alone does not help us to accurately describe the location of a place that is why it became necessary to find a new system to state the precise location of any place on the earth now in this lesson let's see what it is student here is a map in this map you can see there are some vertical lines and some are horizontal lines now in this lesson we are going to see what these lines are called and how many these lines are there here there are some questions for you to think a little there are some vertical and horizontal lines on the globe which of these lines are more in number what labels do these lines have what similarities and differences do you see in the labels will it be possible to actually draw such lines on the earth students observe this figure in this figure you can see that the lengths of east west and north south diameters of the earth this will give you some idea about the size of the earth oceanic waters uneven nature of the land forests innumerable islands of different sizes and buildings make it impossible to actually draw such lines on the earth in order to overcome this difficulty geographers developed a miniature model of the earth in the form of a globe this can be used to determine locations on the earth one can actually draw horizontal and vertical lines on a globe though not on the earth thus they are imaginary lines on the earth the location of any place on the earth is determined with reference to the center of the earth in order to do it we consider a straight line joining the point on the surface and the center of the earth at the center it makes an angle with the plane of the equator the measure of this angle is used in determining the locations for example in this figure the measure of angle xmv is 30 degree that is its angular distance from the equator is 30 degree look at the figure and tell the angular distance of y from the equator it is 60 degree this figure shows another plane it passes through x it is parallel to the plane of the equator observe it and see how it meets the surface of the earth note that it forms a circle on the surface any point on this circle and the equatorial plane form an angle of 30 degree at the center of the earth students you can see parallel lines in northern hemisphere as well as in southern hemisphere here this parallel lines are called parallels even they are called parallels of latitudes these values are expressed in degrees these are the angular measurements which are always expressed in degrees the degrees of parallels are measured from the equator you can see in the figure that is why the equator is considered as zero degree parallel it is the largest parallel and also great circle the angular distance of other parallels towards north and south goes on increasing away from the equator towards the north and south of the equator parallels of latitude progressively become 
smaller and smaller on the globe and also on the earth at the north and south ends of the earth's axis the appears as points these are called the north pole and the south pole respectively while mentioning the value of parallel it is necessary to mention whether it is in northern or southern hemisphere the parallels from the northern hemisphere are referred to as 5 degree north 15 degree north 30 degree north 50 degree north whereas the parallel from the southern hemisphere are referred as 5 degree south 15 degree south 30 degree south 50 degree south respectively that's it for today thank you